Now these can be used for a lot of different things, folks, okay? Yes, they can be used for camping. They can be used for hiking. They can be used as your 72-hour bug out kit. These can be used as your emergency supply kit. All right, you can label this however you want to, but this is survival that's right here in front of you. Some of these packs, they have a lot of different features and everything else, and we're gonna start right over here. This is the QTQY uh, pack. It's a molly pack. It's a 45 liter pack. It does have some mollies and stuff on it. You can attach some stuff in here. And we're gonna break this pack, this particular pack down today so you can see what I got in this thing and everything else. Rule of thumb, make sure that if you're gonna be carrying a pack, and especially if you are a beginner, you don't want any more than 30% of your body weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you don't want your pack to be any more than 30 pounds. This is what I do, what I want in mine. You have to figure out what you want in yours. Okay, so in doing this, I'm gonna break this pack down, all right? This pack is completely empty. We're gonna this, we're gonna call this compartment number one. Compartment number two, the one right here in the middle is compartment number three, and the big compartment in the back is number four as we go across the stuff that's on the table. So we're gonna start right off. In compartment number one is first aid. I have extra gauze and stuff right here. You have these packs right here, and this is the elastic gauze that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do have because if somebody breaks a leg, an arm, a finger, whatever else, you can use sticks. And this gauze right here, make a makeshift splint. This stuff is gold, folks. So make sure that you do have some of this kind of stuff. I do have a pack of just your regular mask. Now, I would highly suggest having a better mask than that in your uh, backpack as far as maybe like an N95 or something like that. We're using your mask just in case. It could be a very, very dusty, smoky type situation. Some dental floss and then, you know, some standard, a bar of soap, some toothbrushes, you know, I mean, just a little bit of hygiene, an emergency blanket just in the chance that you may need something to throw all around you real quick or something if you got wet. A, a tube of afterbite. Now this could come in handy because you never know if you are out in the wilderness or something. You know, I mean, having something to treat bug bites or anything like that, that's golden. My canteen. This is the canteen that I have. It's a stainless steel canteen. It holds your water, right? But it also comes with your little cook system here, folks. It's all stainless steel. This can go right on a fire or something like that. You can boil up your water to eat. You can cook in this. You can make ramen noodles. You can make whatever you want in here. Make this like your little stove. And it all does attach right back together just like that. The handle folds down and under and it goes back into the pouch right here. Now, on the back of this pouch, I attach this to the mollies on the outside. I use these carabiners. These are the 12KN carabiners. All right, these bad boys will support up to 7,500 pounds, which would make this a great thing in case you needed to support maybe a hammock. Maybe you needed to support some weight. Maybe you needed to use them to try to climb out of some place. Having a couple of these, a life-saving, changing event for you to have a couple of very strong clips to help you out. On the other side, which you saw in the pictures, all right? I have another one of those carabiners. I have a compass and a flashlight, all right? And this is on the outside of my backpack. I also carry a stainless steel that has already a built-in carabiner clip cup. So next in line in compartment two, all right, we start off in here is just an old medicine bottle. You have cotton balls with Vaseline on them. All you need is a fire striker, which we have right here. All right, your fire rod. And this one comes with your striking tool. It's all attached right to it so you can't lose it. And you could just strike those bad boys up. I carry one of these. All right, this is just a, a tin. It was a candle and stuff. But inside this tin, I carry my magnesium. All right, because you can just strike a little bit of that and get a fire going. Two bags of that would probably get you quite a few fires, all right? Also, I always carry some of this, all right? This instant fire starter stuff, this is just great. You know, something that's going to make things just a lot easier. Some type of a multi-tool. This is your standard multi-tool knife, 
All right, you can pick these up just about anywhere. It has all the different attachments and everything, so you have a knife with you. Never leave home without a Bic lighter. Make sure you always have Bic lighters. And then this little tube right here, all this does is, is this thing just pops open like so. This screws out like this. And this is to blow into your fire so you don't have your face down there and you are trying to get a fire going which is probably not a good thing to do when you're out in the woods and stuff you want to make sure that you are being safe you don't want to get injured all right apartment number three is your food all right so i go with mountain house all right because you can pick these right up in walmart so i have a biscuits and gravy and i also have a beef stroganoff all right now you can go online you can pick up these new Millennium Bars. All right, these bad boys are good for four years. They are vacuum packed, they're heat resistant and everything else. So I have three of those in my arsenal. All right, you keep three of those in there. Instant coffee, gotta have some coffee. Maybe some plastic spoons this way here, it's a lot easier to eat and less weight. And the last thing is you wanna make sure that you have your Sawyer Mini and all its compartments. You have the bag, you have the tool to clean it out, the whole nine yards. Now, one thing to remember with your Sawyer Mini, folks, is if it is winter time and you have used this, this has to go in the sleeping bag with you to stay warm because if the filter freezes, this is useless and now you can't sanitize your water. The last compartment is probably one of the most important compartments. And we're gonna start off right here in front. This here is a military issue rain poncho. Now this thing is huge. So if you got your backpack on, you can throw this on. It'll cover your backpack and everything so everything stays nice and dry. They're very cheap and inexpensive. So I suggest people picking these up. A lot of these products, you can go right to my Amazon storefront that's listed in the description below and you can pick these things up. You have a battery operated power light, all right? Now this is just something good to have because it has these hooks and you can hang this up around wherever you are and this way here you have light around your whole situation and you're not burning up your flashlight. A survival tent, all right? This is a survival tent, it's a two person tent. Next down the line, these lights, this is a rubber seal, solid rubber. You can't break the thing. It has a hook back here where you can pull this out and you can hook and you can hook this up but it does bring attention. So if you're broke down on the side of the road, if you were in an emergency situation, you can turn these on, people can see these things. Some type of a lightweight towing rope, all right? This is a 750 pound towing rope. It does have one end that already has the carabiner and everything that's already on here. So maybe if you needed something to string up or if even if you needed some way to climb out of an area or something like that or pull something, having a small, type of tow rope is something that's really good and it doesn't take up that much space now moving on down the line bank line all right bank line is very very important you can buy it in all different sizes and everything else but you can build a lot of things with bank line shelters tools whatever you may need will do you can use this bank line because this stuff is like Super strong folks. This is the best stuff that you can buy. I made these myself I've done a video on these and what I do is I use a aluminum foil tube on this one here I have some fishing line with a fishing hook under here. I have 40 feet of bank line 40 feet of this orange line and 40 feet of just your regular type butcher twine all right, then on this one here I have at this end regular duct tape in the middle, that is electrical tape. And at this very end here, this is your 100 mile an hour tape. Aluminum foil. Now, this is triple aluminum foil that I've made myself. And the reason I did this was, as you can see, it is very long. But you take, if you have a fire going, and you put this behind the fire, drive a couple of uh, sticks into the ground, push them in the ground, whatever else, and wrap these things around here. This is gonna push the heat and reflect it back towards you in an emergency type situation from a fire. A couple of things I think that everybody should have 
you know, glow sticks. Put some glow sticks and stuff, so your emergency packs, your car, whatever else, because these could come in real handy. Now, back here in the back, get yourself a regular pair of gloves, a couple of bandanas. You can do a lot of different things with bandanas. One of the most important things in here, this is a wool blanket, all right? Now, these wool blankets are great. They're going to keep you warm. Um, you can lay them on the ground and, and lay on them. They're fire resistant. Just having this in your backpack could be a lifesaver, a game changer. It is a good, sturdy, compact shovel. And make sure that it has these teeth and stuff that are on here on, on these sides because you could use this to saw some wood if you needed to. You could dig holes. You could dig yourself out of a snow bank, whatever else. If you're out in the middle of nowhere having a good sturdy shovel, all metal, no plastic, you're good to go. So this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners. We've been talking about our backpacks, what to have in them. And if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below. Or if you feel that you want to be more personal one-on-one, -on -one, in the description below is my email address. Feel free to send me an email. And